Artists in the North Country say they don't like to blatantly copy works by others, but organizers of an exhibit in Lake Placid asked them to pay tribute to their artistic heroes. You'll find traces of Claude Monet, Vincent van Gogh, and Georgia O'Keeffe in this Lake Placid Center for the Arts juried show. Now you won't see original canvases by the world famous artists in this exhibition, but in this report, we'll show you some of those famous pieces, works that inspired our Adirondack artists. debt to those who came before, right? And this reminds us as artists where that debt lies. This show encouraged our regional artists to look to great artists for their inspirations. We thought it would be a, a good way for um, artists to maybe pay homage to someone who's helped them throughout their creative journey or a way for someone to step out of their comfort zone and create something that they wouldn't have normally created. I wouldn't typically turn to Picasso for inspiration, but I broke a mirror in my studio, and when I looked down on the floor and saw these shards, I thought, wow, those trapezoids and the triangles, they really remind me of him. So for the show, I decided to create a Guernica, which is one of my favorite pieces of Picasso's. The Nazis bombarded a little Basque town called Guernica, and Picasso was absolutely incensed because the majority of people that were killed were women and children, and the theme is of suffering and uh, the atrocities of war. It's really an amazing piece. I created a piece called uh, an Adirondack interpretation of Guernica. The Adirondacks aren't particularly known for wars. You know, there was the battle at Fort Ticonderoga. But I felt like residents of the Adirondacks are at kind of a war in a way with, like I know I'm in a, in a war with mice in my <laughs> basement in my attic. And I think the animals in the forest believe that the hunters are at war with them. So it does relate in a very different way. A lot of artists were inspired by Claude Monet's Water Lily series. This piece is called Adriatic Sunset a la Rothko. This was taken during a cruise with my mom that I took her on for her 80th birthday. And this was a long exposure of a sunset and it, it provided an abstract feeling of the sunset that I couldn't get if I took a standard photograph. What it reminds me of is the broad color field paintings that Rothko uh, created later in his life. And I was reminded of that when I saw the play red that was uh, done here at the Pendragon Theater in Saranac Lake. While most people were influenced by visual arts, um, we had some people who were influenced by literature. My piece is called Nevermore because it reminds me of the poem The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. 
It's mysterious. You don't really know what's going on. It takes a little while to find out what the hair is. Sometimes people don't really know what it is. Some communication is going on, but you don't really know what. One day in the fall, I was in the drugstore, and I passed this big Halloween display of skeletons of all kinds, I think human and, and bat probably and cat, and then these ravens. Here's my raven. So I got it and I brought it home. And at that point, I also thought that it reminded me of a painting by Morris Graves called Blind Bird, because this raven is definitely blind and it just reminded me of it. So it, it, had to, it really had two inspirations, but the inspirations came really from this skeleton rather than from my mind. There are two other pieces in the show, also inspired by The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe, and they're small metal pieces done by Merrill Levitt. They're small, but they're very elegant and beautiful. My painting Serendipity in the show is based loosely on Dutch masters using an old style furniture and egg cup holders and things like that. And the lighting is based on Vermeer's one source natural lighting. And it's a very cool northern light that's hitting the objects. And it was just really fun to set that up and to see the magic happen. Well, Helmut Newton is the photographer that's really behind this image. It's his voice that's speaking through me in this image. It's typical of, of Newton's work because it's edgy. It uh, juxtaposes uh, elegance with uh, a little trashiness. He started out as a fashion photographer. He was a Vogue photographer. And he really, he revolutionized fashion photography by injecting narrative into his, into his image. One of the things I enjoy about this particular photo is that uh, it can be read more than one way. Is she crying out in anger because she's getting kicked out of the car? Or is she laughing because she's getting kicked out of the car? It gives the viewer options. They can invent their own story. Looking around, you'll see that there are a lot of pieces inspired by Van Gogh. You had someone do his yellow chair in an Adirondack style. We had two artists doing his sunflowers, but they were both very different. I created a piece called An Adirondack Story Night, based after Vincent Van Gogh's Story Night. Really the only similarity between the two pieces is the title. I have often found myself inspired by great artists that I've seen in various museums. And I, I like the fact that this show at Lake Placid highlights that process. I think it's a good idea because it makes you stretch. You don't want to copy something, but you you want to take it another step and make something new out of something that already exists. Creating pieces for this show was an awesome experience. Um, it was really fun. It was really different. It was out of my comfort zone. Would I ever go back to making pieces inspired by other artists? I'm not sure I would. Once you study the old masters, it forces you to think beyond your own limitations. I'm not sorry that I participated in, in this whole thing because it's been really wonderful. We actually um, had someone come up to us at the gallery opening and say that they hadn't been painting in a while, but the theme to the show spoke to them and inspired them to get out their paintbrushes and create a piece for the show. So that was nice to hear. During this time of limited travel, we at Mountain Lake PBS would like you to be able to explore the works in the Inspired by Great Artists exhibit. In collaboration with the Lake Placid Center for the Arts, we've created the first Spotlight Online Art Gallery. 
Head to mountainlake.org, click on the thumbnails, and enjoy the art show. You'll also find a link to the gallery in the description below. Spotlight is supported by the Glenn and Carol Pearsall Adirondack Foundation, dedicated to improving the quality of life for year-round residents of the Adirondack Park.